Hi, welcome. In this video, we're going to install Arclinux B Plasma. So we boot up and uh, you have some decisions to make. Depending on your hardware, you can either even boot in Grub and sort it out in Grub in BIOS. This is BIOS setup, but you can also boot in UEFI. So colorful means BIOS, an older laptop or desktop. You can choose some lines if you are an issue, have an issue then um, you choose other lines you can even edit this and google around and they say you have to type this and that and that behind it and then boot up anyway so escape going for the first line the guys in uefi you have five lines no graphical thing no colors at all and you go to the first line which says arc linux and then we all boot up older computer newer computer and we boot up into a nice setup of Plasma. And you see already that the cursor is a little bit different, right? It's not Bibata Ice, it's still the one we've used in the past, the Breeze one, Breeze Snow to be precise. So we have fun uh, system, well, you can actually move this guy down here, minimal, and we have um, here a menu you can have a look at and try it out before you install it. It's a very minimal system. The point of Arknix B is that you build it. If you're not ready to build it, then you download this. And this is our selection. That's, that's what we think should be a minimal ISO. You think otherwise, you start building. ArcLinuxB.com. It's all explained. It's super simple. So that's that. And of course, if you want to um, relaunch, ArcLinux Hello is up here install Arclinux that's Calamaris and then you can go to here as well Arclinux welcome app our advice is always to run with a clean slate so clean everything no uh, applic no partitions available nothing encrypted there just start with a clean slate is always better for any operating system out there we're gonna run Calamaris which is version 3.2.20 and soon we'll have the 3.2.22. So we always keep on testing, testing. Seems we never end, and that's the point, right? Always improve, and that's what Calamaris does. In this case, it can sometimes happen that we end up in a U-mount error at the very, very end. Everything is installed, but he wants to unmount the particular partition, and he, well, gets a, a, a hiccup there at the end. But everything is installed, so that's the message. If you see the U-mount error, if it happens on your machine, just reboot. You'll see, it's gonna be fine. Then I recommend you go and watch some videos. How to install Arc Linux is one, how to uh, install Arc Linux D is another one, and there's also a video how, uh, about all these applications because there's lots of information in here. And I'm pretty sure you don't know all of these because I've learned myself as well a lot about applications that I've never tried and heard about, okay? So go and have a look what elements you think, oh, I'm gonna try that out or I'm gonna install this and so on. That's explained in other videos. Here we have all the office tools, choose one. In this case, indeed choose one because it will conflict and to uh, remind us to have a reminder we have this little button down here that's gonna show us all the conflicts we possibly can have on Arch Linux so it's not even an Arch Linux thing it's an Arch Linux thing how to pack things what conflicts with what and just be aware that these conflicts ex exist Calamaris doesn't care either uh, if you it, if you did install them it just installs one of them right and um, it will never crash, it will just continue installing, unless you don't have internet. So we are assuming that this software is coming from the internet, right? Um, this is not on the ISO, Wouldn't, would be super big ISO otherwise. So you need to figure out to have internet. If that's not possible, then you install everything later on. sudo pacman minus s brave minus bin, I think it's called officially. Um, so Chromium, Deluge, Dropbox, all of these guys are here. Next, theming, all kind of themes you want to select. Here's an example of 
the conflict breeze and excursor breeze they supply the same service but this one has a lot of dependencies and basically we don't care if we are on plasma that's cool because breeze is there already this is breeze so we will install it just again um, but this here will conflict this guy gonna conflict with the package that's already installed so it's not gonna be installed games a lot of games in here watch out for these four the last four are two gigabytes lots of tools open them up see what you like see what you want to install and then something for us if we're working we just move to the very end and just click these guys that's all we need to develop I'm not gonna select I'm gonna minimize my time to install Brussels fine select another town if needed Belgian well not town country and then we're going to change some things huh? petition right no swap with swap or with hibernate so three choices the here okay car is gone and then encrypting as well which means we have six choices plus the manual partitioning that you can do and learn on arclinks.com there is an article everything you need to know about calamaris and here we are going to type some stuff like that one and a password decide whether we want to log in automatically use the same password things like that you know that and then it's final go from okay get rid of everything that's on there and install me an operating system and then we sit back if you've uh, selected a lot of stuff it will take a little bit longer around 80 percent here it's going to download all the packages you selected that's going to take its time and then it's going to install it going to take its time so do something else and come back and see that everything is done then let's pause the video here all right i'm um, i went away a little bit too long <laughs> and i'm here with the log screen this is a live user so it has no password but okay there you are i mean and we have an error as well so we can tell you and show you guys this is not important at all the only thing you need to do is reboot so you mount thing don't contact me it's okay it's cool restart everything is gonna work and everything is, is great it's you mount just look it up arch wiki you mount what it is it wants to unmount an hard disk i was not successful in doing so should be solved in the next calamaris i've been told there we are let's auto start let's get rid of that one this will go away eventually f12 is what we are on and yes we need to update since this is arch one and we're on arch two already f12 it's gone again and then it's up to you to install more and more stuff there is the discover in this case you can do and have a look there but uh, let's end as always with the message that there is so much information available on our websites i did say websites so take a look at all of those but in this case i would like to first ask you to take a look at plasma and the plasma articles so our websites are a little bit built around an, an strategy of learning a learning strategy a learning path uh, sometimes we say it's the ALU, Arch Linux or Arch Linux University. Um, but basically you learn a lot and that's also the feedback that people give us. So that's great. That's why we put so much time, energy, costs, money into all these things, right? A lot of info is here. 55, okay. I've been busy and uh, Plasma is indeed one of the challenges of 2020. I'm working on it living in it and so uh, improving it so take a look at all these articles and get out of it what you need all right have fun